How can we protect young carers' future? Oh. Give us money. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want a job. No, I'm saying like yeah. really, I want a job. Give us jobs to get money and like work. Not like not no, like, like this, not hand us out money, but give us jobs for money. Then that's that's one thing. Like, Help us get jobs, once, yeah. not just yeah. give. It doesn't even have to be once, yeah. Just a job. When I know that I'm done doing whatever and I can have a job to fall back on, that's calm. And then we can get the cars after you've given us a yeah, job yeah. to afford the cars. Um, wow. I don't know. Just pay our bills, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Do schools slash colleges support young carers effectively? Uh, no, 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 I don't know. My school know nothing about anything. Like, it's rubbish. When I was in year seven, what what my, what's it called? My program leader took me out of class and she was like, so do you know how you look after your mum and that? Yeah. Do you want to go to like some sort of club thing? And then um, I was like, I already go to one. And he, she was, she just stood there and she was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> how many of your schools know that you're a young carer? My school knows. Just Josh. Mine, mine's kind of nice, but they're not really support. Mine didn't even know I had okay. ADHD in year seven. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, no, I don't. Do Mine didn't know, but I didn't tell yeah. them. Yeah, so. my school. Yeah, I didn't tell. Them. Like, what? Like, what? What would I expect them to do? <laughs> I, remember, I remember my friend wanted it. Like, my friend needed it though, and then she just came back telling me how they were just like they just talked to her and she get yeah. it. Yeah, and that's it. What is your best piece of advice? Here Wash your hands here. and wear a mask. Stay safe. <laughs> <laughs> don't be a people pleaser because then when you grow up, you'll be like. And with yeah. everyone because they'll treat you that way but then you want to be your actual way but you can't because you started off being that way don't waste your life <laughs> be positive where do you see yourself in five years <laughs> college or uni i'll be on the no, red carpet i have be money in my bank year. account and that's all no, I, like I, oh, I, I will be fulfilling my dreams to be an actor how does being a young girl affect your education <laughs> okay before quarantine well uh, no in december my mum got a back surgery mm -hmm. so i had to stay home for like two weeks in my school to help her so that affects my learning because I wasn't in school. Yeah. And when you have like oh. online lessons, you can't really do much, and then you end up feeling like, ugh. Mm. Stressful. It's school's like funny, but it's a struggle. Like the yeah. lessons are funny, but like, like I, I if like yeah. during like lockdown and stuff, when you're doing like online lessons, it's like your parents, you are the person you're looking after, mm. is like. Come and help me do this, yeah. do that, and like, I'm in the middle of a lesson. Mental health is equally as important as physical health. Yeah, yes. 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 I yes. Oh, it's probably more important. It's not physical. talked about. Yeah. You if you're in a good mindset, your mental health is good. It can help your physical health get better. Because if you, in your mind, like, I'm ready to work out because I'm happy, then your workout and your physical health will be better. Who is someone that inspires you? Billie Eilish. Trisha Paytas. Billie <laughs> Eilish inspires me yeah. because Wait, from a young age she started her career, which means like she's you can like hard work. Yeah, no she's hard working, but she stays like grounded as well. And she's been through a lot that's like relatable to like a lot of teenagers. Yeah. I'll say my mom. I agree. Yeah. 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 No? Why, Why does your mum inspire you? Uh, cause she's very hard working because she oh, was yeah. very poor when she was younger and she had to work hard to get the money and stuff like that what is something you are grateful for <clears throat> my life oh, um everything my parents i'm grateful for everything really obviously parents food mm. Water, every, everything like there's nothing that I'm not grateful for unless it's something that I don't like. I'm grateful for fridge water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is your dream job or career? An actress to be able to play a character that's not yourself just sounds fun. An, an illustrator. I either <laughs> want to become an actress, so mm. look after children, Ugh. or <laughs> become like a hairdresser. I haven't thought about it, but something art related. Translator, I guess. Ah. Uh, so to do with music, I don't know. I've never cared as long as I'm making money. What do you think should be taught in schools that isn't? Wait, wait. Mental school. health issues and things like that impact mental health because it's just not talked enough, and it needs to be. I've never had a lesson where they've sat and talked to you about like life or things you'll need in future life. Like we need to learn how to do our taxes, pay our mortgage. Oh yeah, yeah. stuff oh, like that. More stuff on like LGBTQ. Yeah. Stuff. There's just one lesson on in PSHE. People yeah, but what? Like judging other yeah. people, people need to be taught that it's exactly. It's not okay. There's always gonna be people that are homophobic. There's always yeah. gonna be people that are racist. You yeah. can't do yeah. nothing about it. And like, whenever school does it, then they're like, they do it horribly. Like, yeah, <laughs> we had a PowerPoint.
awkward. And then one time, they literally gave us a leaflet with like websites. I was like, here you go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Being a young carer doesn't define me. Yes. Yes. Well, it, do, it doesn't that's define me because I'm my own me? person, and being something is not gonna define who I am as a person. It's just something that I do. Things that define me is my personality, like, and things I do in life. <laughs>